टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डायथिल कार्बेजिन डी सी दिस डी सी इज अ ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इन अ फाइलेरियासिस विच इज कॉज ड्यू टू वुचेरेरिया बैनक्रॉफ्टी ब्रुजिया मलाई एंड ब्रुजिया टाइमोरी दीज आर द कॉन्जर्टिव एजेंट्स फॉर द फाइलेरियासिस एंड डाइथिल कार्बेजिन इट्स अ ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इन फाइलेरियासिस नाउ वॉट डज इट डू इट immobilizes the microfilary what does it do it immobilizes the microfilary that result in their displacement in the tissues that result in the displacement in the tissues and also alter their surface structure making them more susceptible to the host defense mechanism so what does it do it immobilizes the microfilary first and because of that there is a displacement in the tissues and also it alters their surface structure making them more susceptible to the host defense mechanism this microfilary rapidly disappear from the blood except those which are present in the hydrocele and nodules this dc what does it do because of the dc this microfilary rapidly disappears from the blood except which are present in the hydrocele and nodules now it also kills the adult worms of the loa loa and prolonged treatment can kill the adult brugia malai and probably the vucereria bancrofti dc is rapidly absorbed on oral administration and also rapidly metabolized it will get rapidly absorbed and it will get rapidly metabolized alkanization of the urine when you alkanize the urine it enhances the plasma level and prolongs the action of dc whenever we do the alkanization of the urine it will enhances what does it enhances it enhances the plasma level of dc and prolongs the action and the important thing the dose should be reduced in the renal dysfunction dose should be reduced in renal dysfunction now what are the adverse effects it causes gi symptoms like anorexia nausea vomiting dizziness headache these are the gi symptoms then it also causes allergic reactions with itching rash fever and all these symptoms because of release of proteins and antigens from the dying worms from the dying worms there is a release of proteins and antigens so because of that proteins and antigens there is a allergic reactions so to minimize that any allergic reactions we give antihistaminics what we give we give antihistaminics along with dc to minimize this allergic reactions dc is contraindicated in the onchocerciasis as it can cause severe reaction to the products of destroyed microfilaria this destroyed microfilaria they can cause severe reactions in case of onchocerciasis and to avoid that severe reaction dc is contraindicated now where we use this we use this dc in filariasis what is the dose 2 mg per kg tds for 21 days there is a course of 21 days so it is given as a 2 mg per kg tds thrice a day what happens in 7 days patients are rendered non infective within 7 days to the mosquitoes as microfilary rapidly disappear in 7 days patient will become non infective then adult worms may need repeated courses in case of adult worms we need repeated course antihistaminics should also be started to reduce the allergic reactions and continued for a few days to avoid the allergic reactions like rash itching urticaria to avoid all these things you have to start the antihistaminics along with dc if reactions are noted glucocorticoids may be given if that severe allergic reactions are seen you can go for the glucocorticoids in patients with renal dysfunction dc should be used cautiously or dose reduction should be done 
Mass treatment with DC in endemic areas has been effective in reducing filaria transmission. If that area is endemic for the filariasis, so in that area mass treatment with DC is done and that will reduce the filaria transmission. DC 0.2 to 0.4% incorporated into table salt or given as a single annual dose. It is given as a single annual dose, 6 mg per kg along with the albendazole 400 mg that will reduce microfilaria in the blood. That will reduce microfilaria in the blood. So this is all about the DC which is the drug of choice in filariasis. Which is the drug of choice in filariasis.